So I'm going to do a video that could be described as a subtweet. I'm not going to name anyone, I don't particularly wish there to be conflict, but I'm going to discuss some, um, I'm going to discuss the nature of abusive behaviour. So when somebody behaves abusively, what they're trying to do is they're trying to assert authority and they want the people around them to know that they have done this and they want them to know that they will do that in future. So one of the things that's been staggering and really amazing to see in the last couple of years is the sheer number of women who have stood up together. And you know, there's been difficulties because power dynamics between women don't go away just because we're united on one issue, we're all very different and we all do very different things, we all have very different approaches. And I think they're all valid. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't need people to agree with me. I think everything that women are doing is valid. There is one thing that is not valid. And that is using violence and abuse to assert authority over women and children. Now, we have trans activists who are violent and abusive and sexually abusive with disturbing attitudes to children. And so, at present, it does not matter who women are, that takes priority. Now I know that the political cultures that many of the elite women are from have traditionally been able to do that to assert authority, but I want to be clear. I have already rightly condemned this, and people are a bit worried to do so because they don't want there to be division. If putting women and children at risk of material violence to discipline them to show that you are in charge and to jockey for position is used, there will be no movement because women will never be able to trust any, any organisation who does that. Even if you have been speaking up for years and years and years about something, you see when you use the violence of trans activism to discipline women and you put women and children at risk of violence, even if you do it in a passive aggressive way so it doesn't seem like you're doing that, you're doing that because you want not only that woman to know that you can do that, but you want other women to know that you can do that. And in this particular movement, that is a mistake. So I understand that people come from political cultures where certain behaviours have been normalised. Those behaviours are harmful to women and abusive. I understand that some women from existing political cultures are a bit worried about the impact of austerity and the role of their political culture in selling it and may feel the need to protect identity at the moment. The single thing that has undermined this movement in the last, that's growing, that's growing organically and that's necessary and overdue, the single thing that will undermine it is that. The minute you use deliberately putting a woman and a child at risk of violence to assert authority, you have done something disgusting. And it doesn't matter how good you see yourself, it doesn't matter how committed, it's not a debit credit scheme. Once you have done that, you have done something very, very harmful. Now if you accidentally put a woman and a child at risk of violence, and you realise and you reflect that, that and you reflect on the impact of that. I understand that that happens, we all make mistakes and you can make amends for that. But you see when you use putting women and children at risk of the violence of tra trans activists to assert a dominance and authority you do not have. You are telling, you are doing so because you want other women to know that you will do that and that is a mistake here. Because when you tell us you will do that, we know you will do that. Once you do that, you lose all right to any kind of respect. Because you wanted women to know that you would do that. The only way this is going to work is if women can stand together. And women can't stand together if there are women among us who will deliberately put women and children at risk of violence. So this is an unnamed subtweet of a video that will make no sense to anyone. But I'm telling you that if you think that you can assert authority by putting women and children at risk of violence, I give no fucks how long 
you have been campaigning and fighting because you have demonstrated that what you are campaigning and fighting for is the right to harm women. And at that point, you have revealed the dynamics in the situation. So mistakes happen and things happen. But if this happens again, if somebody does this again, if somebody deliberately puts a woman who they only have any connection to because they are fighting these activists at risk of violence and abuse, it will be noted and it will be fucking condemned. I don't give a fuck about off-colour tweets that people made three years ago. I don't give a fuck about purity politics. I'm not pure. I do give a fuck about women who are habitually, who believe that because they come from institutions and cultures where that is the norm, that that's okay. I, need, I want those women to understand that that is not okay here. And it will not play out the way you think it will.